What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian, the bow tie fragrance guy. And I love looking good and smelling amazing. Today I want to talk about some complimented fragrances. It's getting hot outside, as you guys can see. Today I'm wearing a polo shirt because where I live, it's about 75 degrees and I'm not wearing a bow tie and a long sleeve shirt today. I'm gonna take it easy. And so it made me think about, hey, you know what? I wanna keep my guys up on game. I wanna make sure I'm giving them some good content. So I wanna give you guys just five quick fragrances that really, really work well in warm weather, hot weather, that in my experience have given me some great unsolicited compliments. But before we get into the list, as we always do here at the Bold Tie Fragrance Guy channel, I want to go ahead and give you guys my subscriber spotlight. So who's in the spotlight today? Let's check it out. So if this guy has been in the spotlight before, I'm not keeping tabs, but you guys can help me out with that if you don't mind. But today's spotlight goes to Clarence Worley. And Clarence wrote, Bowtie Fragrance Guy, what can I say? Your videos just make me smile. You hit all a man's necessities and then some. I ain't even gonna lie. You make me wanna run out and cop that coach bag and matching wallet. The bag is fierce. I can only imagine when you couple it with the tailored suit. Now that's what I call debonair swag. Respect and more respect. Thank you for putting a smile on my face. No, Clarence, thank you for putting a smile on my face with that awesome comment, man. Clarence, if you guys haven't seen the last video that I put out, which were my 10 essentials, 10 things I can't live without, please, please go check that video out. I think it was a great video. I kind of put you guys on some game, let you into my world a little bit about things that I use on a daily basis. But again, Clarence, because you're not here with me right now, man, as I always do, two sprays in the air. This is for the homies that ain't here. <laughs> Woo! Boy, Clarence, that's some good stuff. But Clarence, that was for you, my man. Okay, now that we've gotten the subscriber spotlight out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So if you wanna know five great fragrances to wear, designer fragrances to wear in some warm weather to get some compliments, you know how we do, man. Keep it locked right here. Okay guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for staying tuned in to this video. Let's go ahead and jump right into the list. Starting it off with a fragrance from the house of Versace. This is Versace Man Oh Fresh. Uh, 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 fresh. Versace Man Oh Fresh. I love this stuff right here, man. You talk about something that really works like a champion in hot and warm temperatures. Absolutely love this stuff. When I first got it, I couldn't stop spraying it. Look how much I've used already. I mean, again, it's proof that I wear this and I wear it a lot. One of the best dumb reach, easy to wear, highly complimented fragrances to wear in the summer and the springtime. It opens up with a blast of citrus. I think there's lemon, bergamot, some other stuff going on. Has a nice kind of woody uh, dry down, has some cedar wood in there. But guys, just a fragrance again that is not expensive, it's not gonna break the bank. And this fragrance pulls me a lot of compliments. So if you want to be the star of the show, when you go out this spring and summer, you're hitting the pool parties and things of that nature, this is a good one to grab. And guys, you can pick this up for less than $40 in a lot of places. So check this one out. I love this stuff. Versace Man Oh fre eh, 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 Fresh. <laughs> the next fragrance on my list, guys, comes from the house of Christian Dior, and this is Dior Home Sport. Now this is the version that was released in 2012. There was an original version of this that was released in 2008, and then they reformulated it a little bit and released the 2012 version. And then it was reformulated again in the year of 2017. I am a big fan of the 2012 version. It says it's a sports fragrance, but this is one that if I'm going somewhere and I need to dress up when it's hot outside, I love to wear this stuff again. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this, guys. Trust me on this. You guys have been following me for a while. If you trust my opinion on fragrances, if you don't have the 2012 version of Dior Own Sport, please give it a try. Again, they in the 2017 version, they took the iris out. I don't like that as much. So this one has the iris in it, but what's really good about this one in warm weather, there's some green undertones in this one that absolutely works magic in warmer temperatures so guys again 
If you talk about compliments, if you're going somewhere where you're going to be dressed up, listen to your boy. 2012 version of DR Home Sport is the way to go. Next fragrance. The next fragrance on the list is from the House of Coach. I've talked about this fragrance a lot, and there's no denying that this is a compliment magnet. This is Coach for men. Uh, when it first came out, to me, I was like, ah, you know, I'll pick it up at some point. Wasn't overly impressed, but man, once I got it and started to wear it, the reactions from people were great with this one. Again, highly complimented. That's what this list is about. It opens up very fresh, very citrusy. There's a green pear note in here that's really, really uh, prominent when it opens up. But it has a nice geranium and vetiver. The mid and the dry down are really about the geranium and vetiver. So it keeps it really, really bright and fresh. Um, working in uh, cohesion with those citrus notes. So again, works really well on my skin. Uh, highly complimented fragrance to wear in warmer temperatures from the house of Coach. This is Coach for Men. The next fragrance on the list, again, is one I've talked about before, but we're talking about complimented fragrances to wear in warm temperatures. I have to put this in here from the house of Prada. This is Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. If you like Dior Sauvage, if you, if you like fragrances like Dylan Blue, Blue de Chanel, which I am definitely a fan of those fragrances, then you'll love Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. The big difference in this one and the aforementioned fragrances is this has a nice lavender note. So if you like Survive, but you want something a little bit more calm and not as heavy and loud, then I would take a look at Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Again, the lavender note is a star player here. Absolutely love this stuff. You talk about a fragrance that gets positive attention. Oh man, it's a Dior Sauvage slash Dylan Blue type combo. Love this stuff. Beautiful Ambroxan dry down, but again, just not as, as pungent and loud as Dior Sauvage. So it's one that I love. It gets compliments. It's going to be in my rotation from the house of Prada. This is Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. And the number one fragrance on this list, I think this made my might have made my number one uh, summer designer fragrance last year, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, from the house of YSL, this is YSL Y. Compliments, if compliments are what you are after, guys, take a look at YSL Y. It's a nice, kind of salty, uh, fresh, sea salt, aquatic, marine type fragrance. But um, again, uh, warm temperatures, this stuff shines. It's, it's, it's sparkling, it kind of jumps off your skin. Very fresh, very invigorating scent right here. Absolutely love this stuff. I can't recall too many times that I've worn it out in public and not gotten some positive attention with YSL Y. A lot of you have probably already put your nose on this one. Uh, for some reason, a lot of these fragrances, when it first, like a lot of these other fragrances, when it first came out, I was like, eh. But then when I got it, just like um, Coach for men, I just saw the magic happen. And again, I don't wear fragrances to get compliments. I wear fragrances for me. But again, I always say it does not hurt when someone pays me a compliment. It's cool. So I like getting compliments when I do get them. And this one gets me a lot of positive attention from the house of YSL. This is why. Okay, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, your boy the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And of course, you know, I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos out to people that you think can use this information or people that you think may find me entertaining because there may be some people out there that just think I'm entertaining or think that I'm handsome. I mean, you know. <laughs> but anyway, man, you know, guys, keep on watching. I appreciate your support. And as I always say, keep staying tuned because I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.